In East Timor's highest altitudes, Justino picks coffee beans. It's the only cash crop in Asia's poorest country, worth $10 million last year. But heavy rains this dry season will make it difficult for farmers. When there's a big rain, the fruit falls off, especially if it showers with strong winds. You can lose the entire lot. If you are lazy, you don't get anything. If we don't clear the weeds, we won't have the crop we have today. And we leave or die by coffee. By global standards, East Timor is a small coffee producer. But it brews one of the world's best organic blends. The entire country is pesticide free. And most of the crop is bought by the American coffee giant, Starbucks. But the biggest commercial buyer here says better techniques could provide a much bigger harvest. They're getting it off trees that are very, very old. Yields that anywhere else in the world are ridiculous. They could treble their yields in the long term without too much difficulty. And a lot of that would be pretty much down to pruning and good tree management. East Timor is a country which relies on rural farming but it produces some of the lowest yields in Asia and Africa. A US aid agency is trying to develop the agriculture base with wind tunnels that protect crops from torrential rain and projects that link farmers to commercial buyers. It's also set up schools for farmers. You know, one of the challenges of working in Timor is there really, except for coffee, has been no commercial agriculture. So every step in producing the product, trading the product, marketing the product and selling the product, every step in that process isn't working right now. Poor farming techniques in East Timor lead to food shortages every year and a hunger season which can stretch for months. As a result, East Timor has some of the worst rates of child malnutrition in the world. The president says now is the time for his import dependent country to reconsider organic agriculture. We need to introduce pesticides to make this country grow as we wish it to. I think that's the greatest challenge. Because on one hand our country wants organic agriculture, but we need to increase productivity and competitiveness. And a shift to modern agriculture could kill an industry that a quarter of the population depends on. Drew Ambrose, Al Jazeera, Aliu, East Timor.